Hey guys, it's New Legacy Tom here, back again with another video for you guys today. This video is quite a special one, it's a kind of one off video because overnight the transfer that has been rumoured all summer and for a lot of January has just happened overnight. Felipe Coutinho has got his move to Barcelona from Liverpool for £145 million which I think is the third most expensive transfer in football history. You guys may have to uh, give me some sort of information on that but in terms of Barcelona they've got their man. When Barcelona go looking for somebody they do not let up. They went for him the summer, they didn't get him in the summer. Jurgen Klopp has obviously said to Coutinho behind the scenes, do you want to go to Barcelona? Coutinho said yes, he handed in the transfer request if you remember. Um, and then Klopp has obviously said, look, we'll give you six months, we'll give you to the end of January, then you can leave. And to be fair to Coutinho, he has played his part in Liverpool's push for top four this season. Him, Firmino, Salah and Mane have been absolutely on fire. One of the Fab Four is gone, obviously. Um, and it is going to be a huge blow to Liverpool's chances of making the top four this season. They're going to have to find a replacement quite quickly, I would think. There are reports that Real Mahrez is having a medical today for £55 million from Leicester City to Liverpool. Hasn't been confirmed by Liverpool or Leicester, but if that is happening, and that does happen, I think that will be a very good replacement for Liverpool. Mares has obviously been playing wide right, instead of been playing in the number 10 role where Coutinho has been playing, but I think Mares can easily adapt to that position with the quality that he possesses. Um, but for Liverpool though, they now have £145 million to spend. They can spend it in January, or they can wait until the next summer window. For me, I think they need to spend it as quickly as possible. But they still need a goalkeeper. For me, I think they still need another centre-back. And for me, they still need another holding the field player. Henderson is okay, but I think they really need someone like her. Or a Luis Gustavo, someone like of that quality to come in and really fill that role and make it their own. Um, Henderson's done well in that position as I've said but I think it's time for a rotation in that role and I think someone like a Luis Gustavo could come in and fill that role. Um, but Coutinho for me has been one of Liverpool's top players or one of their better players over the past three, four seasons. He's been their standout performer every season. They have relied on him a little bit too much, but um, he's gone now, and now they'll have to adapt without him. It's a great deal for Barcelona. They've got their man. It is a lot of money, but in today's climate, what do you expect? He's a world-class player with world-class ability. He's going to be playing with the likes of Messi, Suarez. Um, he probably won't even start out where he's usually playing, which is on the left. He'll probably have to start out alongside Busquets and Rakitic, which still isn't bad. But um, I think for Liverpool, this will be a massive, massive blow. Coutinho was their best player. And... Now the likes of Firmino, Salah and Mane will have to step up even more than they have so far this season. Liverpool do have a lot of money to spend, but they can't just rely on those three players though. They've got to come together as a team and not just rely on Coutinho anymore. They can't do that. They have to buckle down and work hard for each other to make sure that they get in the top four. It's still a possibility, but it's been made even harder thanks to the departure of Felipe Coutinho 
Me as a Premier League fan, I'm sad he's gone. I'm sad he's leaving to La Liga. I thought he was a fantastic player. I thought he still had bags of ability still to be released. Um, but he's gone. He's gone to where he wanted to go. For me, this is another example of player power, in my opinion anyway. Players wanting to go somewhere, handing in a transfer request. But to be fair to Coutinho, he hasn't really been a decent example of that. What he's done is, he's handed in a transfer request, the club rejected him. He said, you know what, fine, I'll play until January, and if they come in for me again, I'll go. That's exactly what he's done. He's played his part this season, he's been brilliant for Liverpool. And Barcelona came calling again, and within a matter of a few hours, the transfer was completed. Barcelona had a, lip, a little video of a locker room door closing. So it being opened and closing, and then when it opened again, it showed the Barcelona shirt with Coutinho. I thought that was quite cool, but Barcelona have their man, and Liverpool have got money to spend on more players now. So I think all around, it's a pretty good deal, in my opinion, anyway. That is it for this video, guys. It's only a little short video to discuss the Coutinho transfer. Let me know in your comments below what you think of this transfer. Liverpool fans, who do you think you should bring in with that money that you now have? Barcelona fans, let me know also in the comment section below how you think Coutinho will get on at his new club. Make sure to leave a like down below as well and subscribe for more videos and I will see you all very soon. Take care guys.